get uncomfortable to get comfortable. I'm here at the Burning Man Festival in Nevada, in the US. It's a 10 day annual event. It's been going for 30 years. I'm in the desert and uh, I'm dusty. I've showered once in four days. <laughs> I smell a little bit, but I'm in an environment where people from all over the world have flown in to this stretch of desert to be open, to be free, to be who they want to be in as much as this place encourages breaking free from the societal and cultural norms that can chain us down. In other words, you can dress how you want here, you can act how you want, you can do poetry, you can sing, you can jump up and down like a crazy person. And it's uncomfortable at times. Let me just move this here. There we go. It's making some noise. It's uncomfortable at times because you're out in the freaking desert <laughs> and it's dusty. I'm sleeping in a van with no air conditioning. And I'm going to sleep at 4.30 in the morning and then when the sun comes up in the desert, it's hot again at like 8.30 or 9. Now, that may not sound very pleasant, but all of the wonderful people here that I've met are so friendly and so open. There's no money exchange here. You can't buy anything, so you have to bring all your food. You have to bring all of your drinks and water. And then they, it really promotes a, uh, a giving um, society where you bring things to the plier. This thing is called the plier, the desert. And you give out goodies, you give out presents, you give out things like coffee or drinks or food and you don't expect anything back in return. So it really encourages openness and sharing. And because of that, everyone you meet embraces you with a hug. Everyone's like, hi, with a big smile. So if you're feeling like, uh, if you're feeling like you're, um, you know, shy or introverted, this is a great place to come because everyone is so smiley and happy and open. And you can really knock that introvertedness, if that's a word, uh, out of you, or at least if you can't knock it out of you, you can become just slightly more extroverted, get more confident around people. And the thing is, because everyone is here as part of the festival, it's like everyone treats everyone like they're part of the party, like they belong. It's not like if you go out to a bar or a club or somewhere like that, where, you know, people have stranger danger. And maybe they don't, maybe they don't uh, give you a warm embrace. Maybe they're a little bit abrasive or a little bit closed off. Here, everyone smiles. Everyone's happy. Everyone says hello. And not hello with a handshake, with a hug. So I come from the Australian culture where we don't really hug. We sort of like hold out our hand when we meet someone new. Nice to meet you. And that is the, the proper way to do it in normal society but here when you meet someone you embrace with a hug which feels a little awkward at first but then after you get into the flow of things you start to embrace it and go wow there's so much love and affection here and it's a great way to connect so where can you push yourself to get a little bit uncomfortable in order to be comfortable it was a little bit uncomfortable for me when you add up the flights from Los Angeles to Reno and then getting a ride from Reno to Black Rocks uh, City, which is about three hours outside of Reno. And then you add up the cost of food or maybe you rent an RV and you get an air conditioned RV and then you, all these things add up. It can cost, you know, you, and then the cost of the ticket, the cheapest tickets $400, but most of them average is about $600. So you're probably looking at at least $2,000 when you add everything up to do it conservatively. So depending on what your budget is, it's not, it's not cheap, but it's worth it for connecting to people who are open and to be being more open, to being more generous. How many times do we think of ourselves selfishly and not think selflessly? So this really does encourage selfless behavior and giving a sharing economy.
and it is uncomfortable at times but that is what's going to make it well that's what's making it comfortable at the same time so push yourself think about pushing yourself and you don't have to come to burning man just think about a way that you can get uncomfortable in order to get comfortable everything takes work it's like building a muscle you have to lift heavy weights and it hurts sometimes but that's the only way you grow it's the same thing with this festival you got to push yourself to get here and to to be in the, the heat in the desert for weeks oh sorry for a week at least at a time but then you get to see really cool epic things like this and you get to see the desert like this and you get to see people riding towards a cool little event out here on the flyer and you get to say hello to people like this yeah yeah take a load off there take a load right off there you go and you just meet people what's your name my name yeah right amount of trouble right amount of trouble there you go there you go so there you go from burning man 2016 get uncomfortable to get comfortable subscribe to this channel leave a comment down below how are you going to push yourself to get it how are you going to push yourself to make yourself uncomfortable in order to get comfortable from the nevada desert catch you on the next one hey i'm james swanick thank you so much for watching this video if you want to watch my next video then click here if you want to subscribe to this channel to get new videos click here and if you want to follow me on social media like my snapchat right here you can see my snap Click on the links down there. Go on, do it now. I'll wait for you. Snapchat, Snapchat me, Snapchat.